Yeah, my mom. So my mom has seen it. My dad has not. And last night after she watched it, she called me and she was just dying laughing. And that's why I did it. Because if I can bring them a little bit of light and laughter in such a difficult time, then it makes it all work. Reality star and actress, Savannah Chrisley. Okay, so I clearly have zero musical abilities and <laughs> I was never like seeking out this show by any means, but when they came to me, there was something that just came over me that was like, you know what, just do it. Just do it because your parents can watch it and they can still be a part of your journey. And that was the leading force behind me saying yes. And I just said yes and didn't second guess it again. I think I told uh, my publicist, like, let's go ahead and agree to this before I back out. Hush, my darling, don't fear, my darling, the lion sleeps tonight. Ooh. Oh, gosh, I think it was my mom. Um, that I told like, hey, I'm gonna go and do this. It's, and she was like, oh my God, you cannot sing Savannah. I was like, I know, trust me. And then obviously the kids thought it was the funniest thing ever that I was going to do this. And even last night, Chloe was like, oh, that's cringy. That, yeah. that was cringy, don't do it again. And I was like, okay, thank you. He and his boys thought it was the funniest thing in the entire world. And they were like, the little one was like, you actually sound good. I was like, okay, thank you. I love you for that. Um, so they, uh, he has just been such a great support system and has loved watching it. And he said I did great, but you know, I think he just said that because he's just an insanely kind human being, but I'll take it. Yeah, I think honestly, it's a very adult relationship and we're able to connect on an, on an emotional level that just helps to, it helps me to navigate everything going on. I know just, you know, when my ex-fiance Nick died, I know the way that Robert handled that situation and was just so overly present and was like, hey, I'm here if you need me. And if you don't need me, that's fine too. And so to see how he handles moments of adversity, it really does, like, it just makes my heart so happy because we all need someone like that in our life. It's like, don't ever settle. But that's what I've told myself is like, don't ever settle for less than you deserve. And you will know when you meet a man and not a boy based off of how they deal with adversity. And I've just never met someone more supportive in my entire life. It's honestly, it's tough. You know, I think you would think it gets easier and in some aspects it does, but it also gets tough realizing that like, hey, they've been in federal prison for a year and a half almost. Um, and that's that's a tough pill to swallow for sure. But I just have to realize that, hey, like God's got a bigger plan. And if, if it wasn't for this happening, then I wouldn't know the things that I know now about how broken our system is. And now that I know better, it's kind of my responsibility to do better with the information that I have. She's, you know what, I, I hope so. Uh -huh. The medical care that you get within our system is just not up to par. You wait a really long time till you get proper testing done and things of that nature. So you don't really get, and they won't tell me anything. So I don't know where she stands medically. Um, I know she asked for her blood pressure to be taken and they won't even do that. So it's, it's tough. I'm ready to get her home so that I can closely monitor what's going on and figure out and kind of get down to the bottom of it. That has been, when I got custody of the kids, I realized really early on that like children are what we leave behind and the impact that we have on them can either make or break them. And I never wanted to be a source of hurt for them. And I wanted to show them that, like there have been plenty of times I've wanted to throw my hands up in the air and just give up because it's gotten really difficult. But I wanted to show them that no matter what, like you just keep getting up, you just keep trying. And it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to embrace those bad days. And just teaching them those lessons of just persevering no matter what has been the most important thing for me.
Hey, I take it day by day. Just as it comes to me, I deal with it. And life is messy. That's the thing. It's like people have such unrealistic expectations towards life and they think like, oh, it's supposed to be perfect. It should pan out exactly how I want it. And it's so far from the truth. Like life is messy. It hurts. You learn to grow through adversity. And that's kind of how I look at it now is just take it day by day.